Hey guys, this is another update of my Deep Blue Professional Rimless Tank. Just giving you another update. Um, there's again, there's major changes in this tank. I did a whole rearrangement. I'll just go over in a minute. Uh, just um, removal of fish, uh, adding of fish, and also the coral. I have uh, did some changes and also lost a few coral. We're going to go start off with the uh, coral. I lost the elegance coral that used to be over here, which now my Sophilia brain is hanging out in that little corner there. That's no longer gone. Um, the dendro, not dendro, the uh, sun coral, the black sun coral that was underneath here, it's still good. I just got uh, moved it because I wanted more swimming room uh, for my tank. And that the last thing that coral wise is that the Gold torch, since the phosphates reduced in my tank when I changed the filter, the Xenia blocked the light of the gold torch there and uh, pretty much killed it. So, unfortunately, I lost that one because of that. But outside of that, the coral's doing good. Uh, this is my newest addition here is a golden sea rod. As you see, some polyps are coming out. And the reason why I got this Golden Sea Ride one, I think they're pretty cool and they're photosynthetic, is that I added two ORA erected seahorses. Right there is the female. I'm going to try to locate the male, which is over here. Um, cool little guy. Make a lot of cool noises when they eat. The fox coral, of course, right there is doing pretty well over there. As you can see, it's fully extended. Tanaka fairy rest in the back. I did remove also my red banded reef bathlet, and it definitely was not reef safe. It was eating all my inverts. As you can see where I'm staring at right now, my last video, you've seen a lot of shells. If you looked at my last video, you see a lot of empty shells there. That's mainly because um, the bass have pretty much was eaten. Now, have you seen that little pipefish that's swimming around? That's the newest addition of pipefish in my tank, and there's my uh, potter's angel there. Uh, the pipefish that will be swimming around, I actually traded in my banded pipefish, even though it's healthy. I just wanted more swimming room because my babonius has jumped, uh, and I think maybe got spooked by one of my water bay angel chasing the potters and jumped out of my tank because they're not known for jumping. And I did was able to obtain a larger Bobonius, which is right over here. Uh, that's grapefruit right there. And see how nice, beautiful fins it got. Such a beautiful fish. And definitely doesn't want that um, marginalist butterfly right there. And marginalist is trying to fight back. But um, overall, they usually get along in this tank. Uh, but, um, you know, this is a, such a rare fish. You only get them in the beginning of the year for me in January. Uh, and pretty much you're not going to see them for the another year. So this is my last hope. This is actually my sixth time trying with this fish. It's my arch nemesis, you would say. But it's such a beautiful fish with the pink and the gold. Um, so I removed my water bank angel to give more swimming room. I also removed my yellow chorus rest. Uh, that was a pain in the neck to get out of the tank. But, um, you know, I want him to be nice and healthy. Clowns are doing very good here. And I did get this cool, cool little crocea clam. And normally it's about an inch and a half. But usually you'll see him for like $60, $70. I got him for $20. Bucks. I couldn't pass him up. And I got my barnacle blending. Still doing good if you look right there. Cool little fella. He really is super quick when it comes to food in the tank. It just, he darts. It's, it, it's like... What the hell is that? And that was him trying to get a piece of food. So that was pretty cool what he does. Cocoa worm's doing good. I've got this nice yellow sponge that's somehow got in my tank, but it's been expanding all over the tank, which is awesome. The other piece of fox coral that I just fragged over here is doing good over there with my green torch with the purple tips. Squall up, is still hanging out. Sea squirt's doing very well. My knuckle claw is doing very well. Just ate a big piece of mice, so it's nice and full. My Randall's gobies underneath that wrap now. He since 
my rock moved a little bit, a little shipment because I had to move some rock to get these fish out. But um, he's underneath there, and that's a nice little hole for him. I put some tie uh, some pistol shrimps in there. Hopefully, he paired up with one of them. Max McClam's doing very well. Let's see, hopefully, you get to see how like nice and green that is. I can't get it the best angle of it, but then it looks blue, and then it goes green. I just love that effect. So guys, yep, let me see if my uh, seahorse is doing good. Let me see if we get my that pipe fish in there. He's a blue striped pipe fish, a small pipe fish. Um, I did get a pair of them, but the female didn't make it. I, didn't, I knew it in the store, but I didn't want to break up the pair. I said, let me give it a shot, but two days later the female didn't make it. But this guy's nice and strong, and it's a pipe fish, actually like a cleaner pipe fish. And these guys are fucking, yeah, the marginal's not having a good time today. I don't know why he's starting in with everybody today, but maybe he's in a bad mood. But usually they usually get along, they don't bother each other, but today he seems like he's picking on everybody. It's one of those days, I guess. <laughs> so, overall, Tank is doing great. Um, got some more inverts, but, uh, Trying to go with the seahorse here. There's the pipefish again. If I could get the rocks. They like the shade a lot. They, so it's really hard to get them in the light. They just don't like the light that much. But uh, I also did, but then I got the seahorse. Obviously, I lost the seahorse early in the, when I tried the first time. But I put the sponge on the MP40 just to protect it. And they still get close to that beginning over here, but then they get pushed out. But we usually lose them is at the night mode when the pump is not that fast and then they get sucked in. And I lost actually my orange banded pipefish to that along with a seahorse when I had my tank. I tried it, I think, eight months ago. But this time I smartened up and not taking any chances. I removed some fish so the Bobonis is more happy in this tank. So there's only like three swimmers, I would say, that are constantly moving. So uh, give them less stress, and there will be no more chasing with the Water Bay Angel to the Potter's Angel. Even though I love the Water Bay Angel, but, uh, you know, the Bobonius is the prize fish. He is a $400 fish, so um, I think that takes precedent to make him as happy and comfortable in this tank than the other fish. And this sea horse is pretty cool. This Golden Sea Rod's finally shedding its skin because I just put it in the tank, and it, shedding its skin just as a protective layer and then now you see a nice little yellow polyps come out photosynthetic so this should survive very well in this tank and this blue sponge is definitely uh, taking off nicely I've been putting little pieces here and there into the crevices and it's been taken all over little pineapple sponge underneath there that's a pretty cool sponge still no babies yet still waiting on these guys they hate me though but every time I put my hand in the tank they snap at me especially this female There's a little Halloween hermit crab chilling. I don't know where my eel was. He was floating around. But, um. Ooh, yellow sea cucumber. Alright, guys, if you have any questions, shoot me an in inbox or comment, anything, and I'll get back to you guys. Anything about my experience, if you're starting a new tank, I always mess around my tank too more often, but this is uh, probably going to slow down a little while, keep everything constant this time around. Hopefully uh, these seahorses do good, they've been eating well, the pipefish have been eating well, even though he has the smallest mouth, smaller than the, the banded pipefish. Um, again, people say they are difficult, I don't seem difficult, you just got to feed them the right food, rod first cycle peas, things like that, um, anything small, even in, they, they get used to the mice sometimes, so um, they're definitely uh, good fish, just uh, if you want one, just feed it the right food and it'll do very well in your tank. Alright guys, wait for my uh, next update and uh, talk to you guys soon.